we felt like with Hobbs and Shaw, let's raise the bar. Let's make sure that it had the elements, big action set pieces, uh, insane action, uh, gravity defying <laughs> action sometimes. Because in every Fast and Furious movie, whether it's a Fast and Furious movie or a spinoff like Hobbs and Shaw, you have to defy gravity every once in a while. I think that's very important. And we do that in spades. Um, and that was very important to us to make sure that we had the spirit of a Fast and Furious movie. Um, and also the element of the F word, as I like to say, family, which is very important. It's a, it's a very critical element of, of the Fast and Furious universe. It's also a critical element for all the actors involved, by the way, in the Fast and Furious world, in Hobbs and Shaw. We all believe deeply in family and the power of family and the importance of trust in family and always taking care of family. So that lives and breathes in our DNA just as human beings. Um, so on one end, we wanted to make sure that Hobbs and Shaw had that DNA. But um, on the other side, the B side, we wanted to make sure that we had our own identity and we had our own voice and we did feel different. And we did feel fresh and we did feel cool and we did feel badass. We felt like we were telling a... Uh, a cool story that people can go on a ride with us even if they've never seen a Fast and Furious movie. That was important. And for the Fast and Furious fans, when they do come watch Hobbs and Shaw, they know these are characters they love. We have an opportunity to build the baddest bad guy the Fast and Furious franchise has ever seen that can wipe out our heroes. That's the first thing, which I think is so cool when you can make a bad guy like that. Make a bad guy better than your best good guy. That's a cool bad guy. Um, the other side to that is it also, for me personally, um, it put our heroes on the ropes immediately. And it automatically put us in, in, a, in a framework of jeopardy. And, you know, this is, it, that has just been how I've built my career over the, over the years. Even in wrestling, I we laugh and joke now, but I've lost more than I won in wrestling, and I always, I was always better when I was um, vulnerable and get my ass kicked, and I I love being in that position. We needed a a someone of sound mind to be calm amidst, amidst this chaos between all of us, um, and one who was gonna keep this train on track. And she does that, but then, you know, she also has the, um, has the hard labor of trying to do that all while infected with this virus that's going to end her life and potentially end the world. So those are some stakes to play, and Vanessa came in and crushed it. Hobbs has always been a personal character for me because so much of Hobbs and his DNA comes and derives from just me, who, am, who I am as a human being and just as a man. Um, but Hobbs and Shaw is a deeply personal film. It's more than a film. It, it means so much more. And the reason for that is we were able to showcase um, one of my cultures on the big screen. And I was able to do that in the past with a movie I did, Moana, um, and it was our way of really showcasing our Polynesian culture. We're very proud of that. I was very proud of that movie um, and the story we told. But in this case, in terms of live action, um, this was an opportunity that comes around once in a lifetime, if you're lucky. Um, I'm half black and half Samoan. I'm very proud of who I am and what I am and the cultures that I come from. And having this opportunity to showcase one of my cultures, my Samoan culture, to the big screen to the world in a, in a global event movie um, was very special to me, was very special to my family, and very special to Polynesians all around the world and certainly Samoans um, because it never been showcased before, never been magnified before. I have waited my entire career to have fight scenes like this that are raging and savage and primal and without weapons, without guns, just these in modern day. Um, and I tell you, you know, in, in, a, in a weird, um, in a, it's a very weird way, but I, I, I found such joy 
in these action sequences and fighting this way and just using these and biting somebody's face and trying to break their neck and just using whatever you could. Um, but I have, I've been, I've waited my entire career <laughs> to have an action sequence like this. And again, you know, look, I came up in the world of pro wrestling, a very crazy world, I was born into this industry of professional wrestling where there's no guns or weapons or anything like that. And you just learn at a very early age how to amateur wrestle, then how to apply shoot wrestling. And then you go out and you have your matches that yes, are scripted, but you know, they're still very primal in a way. And you're still using your hands and you're still grabbing and you're still suplexing and you're doing these things. And I, now I've, I've applied a few of those moves in my movies in the past. But generally, there's a weapon involved and things like that. But this case, um, I've waited a career to have this and very, very happy with the way it turned out.